Mr. Steve Kalea. We are here at Undergrain. I'm very looking forward to our little lunch. Um, and I know that you have some really interesting pastimes and hobbies, so I'm excited about that. Number one, your cars. If you had to sort of choose your favorite, what, what would it be? Oh, wow, that's a difficult one. Ah, I but, knew it would be. But I would have <laughs> to say it's my mother's Fiat 500. Seriously? Yes. But why? Well, first of all, you know, it was a brand new car that she bought yes. and I kept. You know, so it's got a lot of sentimental of value. I mean, I still have yes. the very, very first car I ever had. That was my second question. Yes. What was the very first car you ever had? Um, an Alfa GTV. It's, it's just been a passion of mine ever since. Fantastic. Um, I'm not going to say ever since I can remember because it was but yeah, a exactly. long time ago. Exactly. So I started racing in Malta, doing hill climbing. Okay. And quarter miles, you know, Ta'ali. We used to go to Ta'ali in those times. You know, so the passion was always yes. there. Obviously, I had to stop racing at a time when I got married and I had my children, you know, so that took a bit of back. You calmed down a bit for I a while. Down. I still kept my cars in my garage, you know, <laughs> looking after them and everything, but not racing. Okay. And uh, then I uh, was the first Maltese actually to take part in the Cannonball Run. And uh, that was from London to uh, Estoril in Portugal and back. Today I'm going to try something different than I usually try. I'm going to try the baked semi-souffle a la mimolette because it's, it's speaking to me. I am a ribeye person. I've had it Black and I can Angus. tell you that it's a good, oh, good choice. Oh, and it's with bone marrow. <laughs> I love bone marrow. There you go. And you're also passionate about something else. You like your house. I love my house. <laughs> my house is my castle. It's my, my retreat. Your my, haven. Mm. My haven, exactly. That's the word for it. I love pottering around the garden. I've got my 30 chickens. I've got my... You've got chickens? Yes. I mean, we grow our own vegetables and potatoes, so we're self-sufficient. One of the things is that we're, when, when my wife and I are invited out to some friend's house or anything, we don't take any more wine or, no, or whiskeys think or anything. We just take a idea. nice hamper of all our produce, you know, and eggs. I'm and inviting everything. you over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about a man kitchen. So the equipment that I've got over there is obviously my, my barbecue, mm -hmm. but then I've got my smoker and I also have a wood oven. When you said you are self-sufficient, you weren't joking. <laughs> something else I've discovered about you is that you are a film buff, which is something close to my heart. I used to be more of a film buff at a younger age. Mm -hmm. But I still am, and I still, I still follow it. Very early in the morning when everybody's asleep, and I'll be awake because I don't sleep much. Don't sleep. I, I, I sleep a maximum of three hours a day. It's pretty much, by the time I get up, you've already like watched a film, cooked a kebab, <laughs> <laughs> raced a car. <laughs> well, I wanted to thank you very much for coming today to Undergrain and spending some time with me. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for inviting me over here and for giving me the opportunity to taste mm. such a fantastic yes. dish. Thank you very much. <laughs>